Lampshades Plus in Orange is a unique store filled to the brim with, you can guess it, lamps mm -hmm. and lampshades you can't find online and service you can only get in person. The store was Jill Pendergast's pride and joy aside from her family. Yeah, but sadly she died suddenly and as Channel 3's Caitlin Francis found out, her light still shines. Here's today's small business spotlight. Family photos sit on the counter of Lampshades Plus in Orange, but one bright light is missing. Jill's passing was sudden, um, but uh, she had a lot of friends, and a lot of her customers are, you know, very, very loyal to her and uh, to the store itself. So it's been good to see them all come in and uh, give us support. John Pendergast lost his wife Jill in December. Rachel and Daniel lost their mom, and the community lost the lamp lady. My mom lived for this store. Uh, this was her uh, seven days a week, uh, 365, she was here. Maybe she would take off a couple holidays here and there, uh, but if you wanted to find my mom, she would always be here. The Pendergasts are keeping Jill's light shining by keeping the store she loved so much open on weekends. Jill's parents opened the business 40 years ago, where you can find high quality, unique and antique lamps and lampshades, or get a repair made. Jill and John took over more than 10 years ago, and now her family is carefully keeping the tradition and her memory alive. It's really nice that we're able to also give a piece of our mom back to everyone, you know, who comes into the store. You know, she loved every single piece in here, and so it's really nice to have, you know, to be able to give people, um, you know, a piece of her to bring and light up their home. But it hasn't been easy. Rachel says the pandemic was hard on business. When we first kind of went through all the business finances and everything, we noticed that there was like a little gap in um, the rent payments and it was right around the time that COVID hit. Um, and so my mom really struggled to be able to pay the rent, you know, while the store was closed. They say the community is supporting them through this tough time in more ways than one. It's it's a little bit bittersweet being in here uh, because we've had so many memories here. I grew up here. Um, we have a, a height chart. Um, starting all the way down when I, you know, we were two, three, four, five, all the way up. So you could see us th throughout the years just on the wall growing up. Daniel calls himself the chief lunch officer. His job was to bring his mom chocolate milkshakes with lunch. Now his job is to help John and Rachel sell and repair lamps and lampshades. Keeping the store open um, is almost like keeping my mom alive. In Orange, I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.